Trump World's Fair at Trump Plaza was a hotel and casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey that occupied 280 feet .3 meters of the Atlantic City boardwalk and was 21 floors in height. It had 500 guest rooms. It opened on April 14, 1981 as the Playboy Hotel and Casino, then changed its name in 1984 to Atlantis Hotel and Casino. Topic History Topic Playboy, nineteen eighty one to eighty four The hotel casino project was initiated by Playboy Enterprises, which later took on Elsinore Corporation, owner of the Four Queens Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, as a partner in order to obtain financing. The hotel, casino originally opened with a provisional gaming license, but the licensing process was slow due to questions about the suitability of both partners. The New Jersey Casino Control Commission finally granted a permanent gaming license to Elsinore Corporation, but not to Playboy Enterprises due to concerns about the company's London casino operations, as well as payments made by the company to New York officials in the early 1960s in order to get a liquor license for its New York Playboy Club. Playboy agreed to sell its share of the hotel, casino to Elsinore and the property's name was changed. Boxing a matches were held at the casino. Topic Atlantis, 1984-89 The complex was split into two sections divided by Florida Avenue. The main building housed the multi-level casino, 500-room hotel tower and restaurants. The other building, accessible by a skybridge from the second floor, housed the 800-seat cabaret and shops. The cabaret featured acts such as Bobby Vinton, David Copperfield, Vic Damone, Lola Falana and the Captain and Tennille. The Fifth Dimension was the last act to perform in the cabaret, finishing out its engagement after gaming operations had ceased on the casino floor. In 1985, the casino filed for bankruptcy and then continued to struggle financially. In April 1989, the state rejected renewal of its gaming license, and then placed the Atlantis into conservatorship. The casino closed on May 22, 1989, though the hotel continued to operate. Donald Trump purchased the Atlantis in June 1989 for $63 million, and renamed it as the Trump Regency. Topic. Trump Regency, 1989–96 In July 1992, ownership was transferred to the property's mortgage holder, Chemical Bank. Trump bought back the Regency for $60 million in June 1995. Trump's World Fair, 1996–99 On May 15, 1996, Trump reopened the casino and the property changed its name again to the Trump World's Fair at Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino. However, it was permanently closed on October 3, 1999 and torn down in 2000. The hotel's problems included a pool that leaked into lower levels forcing guests to use the pool at neighboring Trump Plaza. The land was sold at auction to Bruce Toll of Toll Brothers.